people that when they go back to their home or get back into their community can be so extraordinarily overwhelmed, challenges that run through their mind about what have they lost, what's left, where to from here, how on earth am I going to pick myself up? To have legal services and legal support is fundamental. Legal Aid New South Wales, we have a history of being involved in this disaster space. So we've been working in the disaster space for well and truly over 10 years now. The Disaster Response Legal Service is set up to really target those services that people who have been impacted by disasters really do need. A lot of people associate legal aid as being a criminal service or also a family law service. The Legal Aid Civil Law Team is a massive service and we're very diverse. We cover a wide range of legal problems and legal areas. Civil law is also known as everyday law. It's things that cover debt, fines, housing, renting, consumer matters, employment law. We have a specialist employment law team. So there's lots and lots of different areas that kind of work into everyday life. In a disaster, insurance is probably the biggest area of law that we deal with. Trying to remember who your insurer is and then trying to look at whether you're covered for the damages that you've suffered is a massive task in itself. That's where I enjoy the work that we do, is that we can go through those questions, look at whether their insurer has given them all the benefits that they're entitled to under a policy. And if they haven't, then we advocate for them to get those benefits. There's all sorts of different types of insurance policies, so we really need to sit down and go through their particular policy to look at what applies to them. Correct. Even if somebody has already made their claim and it's been already totally paid out as much as the insurance company thinks that person might be entitled to, there is a provision in the General Insurance Code of Practice that allows that claim to be reopened so our lawyers can help make sure that you get the benefit of those legal rights. We have clients approach the disaster recovery centres seeking assistance with their tenancy matters. These include rent reductions, repairs, terminating a tenancy agreement, collecting their personal possessions and making sure they get their bond back after the tenancy is terminated. We advised quite a lot of people mm. about issues where their properties that they're renting were partially inundated with water or were partly damaged. And they have questions around whether they need to continue paying full rent um, they have questions around whether they can terminate their rental contract early or, or whether the landlord can terminate the rental contract early. And these are issues that come up time and time again, whether it's a, a bushfire or a flood. After disasters, financial hardship can be a really big issue where you've lost your house or you've lost a job or um, you've lost everything that's, that's burnt down or washed away and you're unable to meet your regular financial commitments, but you're also just unable to pick up the phone, you're unable to navigate paperwork, you're unable to have that level of functioning that you would otherwise need. And Legal Aid has a, a bunch of really experienced lawyers in the financial hardship area, and we can help you negotiate with banks. We can help read the financial contracts and figure out what your entitlements are, what your obligations are, what your rights are to have all of that stop and put on hold while you recover from this. Some circumstances, an employer can actually stand down an employee. And one of the things that we can do is give people legal advice about their rights in that situation. Another situation that arises quite frequently is where people have been impacted by a natural disaster um, and actually need to um, stop work for a period of time. And that can be for a, a whole number of reasons. Um, people need to uh, give care to a, a friend or relative. People might need to look after themselves. Something that comes up quite a lot actually is where people actually want to volunteer with a community organisation like the RFS and people have questions about whether they're allowed to do that under their employment contract um, and we can give advice to those people. We have a whole lot of resources, fact sheets and tools for community workers and for the general public. All of that's available on the Disaster Response Legal Service New South Wales website. If and when a disaster does happen, that's where the most up-to-date information will be. So how people can get in contact with us in a disaster, we will be at the recovery centres, at community meetings. We have the advice line and also we have our local offices, legal aid offices that people can attend, book appointments and go in and see somebody there. And lots of people might feel a lot more comfortable doing that. I'm grateful every day that I can 
be a lawyer for people and help people and see real outcomes and see real change in their lives. It's so rewarding.